This segment is being brought to you by Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Join us in preserving and protecting Tennessee's wildlife. All right, welcome back everyone. Our phone lines are open here at 615-737-7767. Hope you have some questions relating to the Carl Perkins Bass Classic. First thing off the bat, when, it, when we're getting ready, while we're getting ready to receive your phone calls, here's one thing I want to ask. Clay, what is the purpose of the Decatur County Child Abuse Center? Okay, we, uh, we're just like what you said, we're a child advocacy center uh, located with everybody that we work with is right there local in Decatur County. Mm -hmm. And so, and I do want to stress that all the money that we raise at that tournament stays within Decatur County to help us work with those kids. We work with children who have been um, uh, involved in substantiated cases of child abuse ranging from a lot of different uh, categories through that. Also to kids that are uh, at risk of abuse, we want to be proactive as much as reactive to that and try to cut things off before they ever happen. Well, this kind of gives them a, you, you kind of represent a safe haven for them, right? right? right. A safe place that they can kind of sit back and, you know, I got to take all this in, what's happening to me, you know? and, and and you guys have got guidance counselors and stuff like that to help them through this. We have, uh, you know, you, you mentioned the prayer earlier, and I want to say, you know, the Lord has blessed us tremendously oh, yeah. to be able to do what we do in such a small county. And uh, you don't want to stress that as far as population-wise, Decatur County is the smallest in West Tennessee, and we served over 500 individuals last year. Oh, my goodness. And uh, everything that we offer for these kids and families are free. And there's no charge, no insurance, no anything, and it's all because of things like this tournament right here to raise funds to do can, that. Can I whoop it up on them right here? Absolutely. Well, I'm telling you, Absolutely. Now, now, Rick, they take me off the TV. Now, uh, tell me what this is. All right, this is the check we presented to the Carl Perkins Child Abuse Prevention Center from the 2014 tournament. Okay. And we presented it to them in January, and it's 60068 is the largest amount we have raised to date. Now we're going we're going to do better than that we're this gonna year. We're going to do better this year. But That's every right. bit of that money went to the Child Abuse yeah. Prevention Center in Decatur So say it one more time. I like the way you say it. Sixty thousand sixty-eight dollars and ninety-nine cents. That is awesome, Rick. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, that's like. That's like having a telethon, you know, it really is. it is. And this was just purely from all the stuff. And, and and like I said, ladies and gentlemen, you can get involved. It wasn't just the bass fishermen that right. did that because there was live auctions, silent auctions. There was food. There was games to be played. Uh, there was chances on different things. Right. There was uh, the kids uh, fishing. Now, they didn't make any money off the fishing, but... You still, uh, you know, you got families involved, and that was what was great. I think one of the, I think why we, one of the reasons we enjoy it so much is, you know, we're we're working to to help improve families, and this is a family event. Yes, um, it is something for everybody there, and I think Rick, Rick mentioned earlier, you know, this year we're even having a uh, uh, live feed for SEC football. There's nothing you That's can't find what to I do. I wanted to ask you, yeah. what does that mean, Rick? Well, that means you're going to skip. Whatever team you're supporting, it's going to be the Tennessee Vols down there. <laughs> right. uh, that's we're right. going to have a big screen TV to watch the ball game up for people. Well, that's that, awesome. In, inside there, yeah, that's the first year we've done that. And, it's uh, going to be SEC as long as you're that's for right, Tennessee SEC, balls. <laughs> uh, that, But you know, of course, in these ball games, they announce all the scores. Oh but, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's specifically yeah. up there for the Tennessee. Are they play Georgia? I believe it's Georgia. That, Tennessee, yeah. Tennessee, Georgia. That game. will be a good game. Be a good game. And Are you like going to come off the water? To watch that game because it starts at noon. You're gonna come out? No. Oh, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might have a chance if we watch the Vols play yeah. a little bit. <laughs> I tell you what, Courtney, we got some colors, right? Who we got on line one? JC, JC, how can we help you tonight? Uh, yes, sir. I've got a couple questions. Now, uh, like when you go down these marinas to fish and you put your boat in, are they supposed to charge you every time you go out and put your boat in? No. JC, uh, that's one one of the issues that we're uh, fighting right now. We're trying to get together, um, right? Uh, different people, Corps of Engineers. Uh, TWRA doesn't have anything to do with it. Okay, I'm I'm gonna tell you right, that up front. I've already been in all those meetings. TWRA doesn't run the ramps for the Corps of Engineers, but the Corps of Engineers somehow has uh, allegedly given permission to these marina owners to charge. Uh, to launch their boats at Center Hill, uh, Percy Price, and Old Hickory. I think if enough of us will write really professional letters now uh, to those folks, we may change a few minds and, and get it back because we paid for those ramps to begin with. They were there long before the marinas were. Um, 
So, you know, that's what we're trying to do, JC. Uh, keep in touch with us. Keep watching the show. You're going to hear more and more about that. But, yes, sir, we're getting... Uh, we're getting our ducks in a row, in other words, to, to, to go and, and present a, a, rep, a, a great plan for them. So we hope we can work it out like that. Hope that helps you, JC. Yeah. All right, buddy. Hang with us. We're, we're there with you. And we got John. John, how can we help you tonight? Hey, now, can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right, now, hey, I got a question for you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I just got into gardening. Uh, my wife, Darlene, she's she's. She's just a keeper. She told me to get into it. And right. We, we got a groundhog, though. Hear me out now. Yeah. Groundhog, size of a pit bull back in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've met a few of those. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. And he's coming at me, and he's trying to eat my squash and my beans, and I, I won't stand for it. Well, so I went down to my my Walmart and I got me a, a pellet gun. Yeah. Um, and I'm curious if I pop it, which I'm planning on, can I eat it? Well, uh, if he's eating your squash, I'd say you could. <laughs> now, now groundhogs good eat. Uh, I've had groundhogs. Have you ever had groundhogs? No, I've never had groundhogs. You never groundhog. had the pleasure, no. huh? I have. It, it's pretty good. But, yeah, if he's eating your squash, beans, and everything else, I'd take him I mean, out myself. I mean, he's, he's, and he's got tall as a size. I mean, they, they, I mean, at least tracks in the yard. And I, oh, yeah. I, mean, I just sawed it, you know. I mean, just come on. And it's just. I yep. mean, if I pop it, we're, I'm going to drag it down there to you guys, and we're going to have ourselves beat. We're going to watch the game. We're come on down. Come, come on down. We'll have a groundhog <laughs> ground uh, ground uh, skinny. Yeah, we, we're good. I mean, now, but, I mean, it's just, it's just leaving, you know, just excrement and everything. It's oh, just yeah. getting me all hot and heavy. Well, that's what they do, and I, and I promise you, you're not alone on that fact. And, and uh so, but uh, I tell you what, I'm going to give you a tip here in just a minute. Watch, keep watching the show. Let me catch this other call. And we have Johnny. Johnny, how can we help you tonight? John? Johnny? Johnny? All right, Elrod, how can we help you tonight? Hi, sir. Yes, sir. Hi, I enjoy your show. Thank you. And uh, I was just wondering if there was another way to debate to the children's facility other than fishing. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Um, of course, I'm, and I'm, they can always contact us. We have a website. Um, they can always contact us at. Um, of course, we are, our, our main website is, uh, C, uh, I'm sorry, uh, carlperkinscenter.org. And of course, we're based right there in West Tennessee. Um, they can contact us. We've got our information on the uh, Bass Classic website. Oh yeah. Uh, they can call us, and, and they can always donate. But we'd be glad to talk to somebody that wants to be involved with that. Absolutely. I'm watching. It's delayed a little bit. That that's okay, you know, Rob. But uh, yes, sir. To answer your question, there is many ways that you can get involved, you and your family. And and what a great cause. But if you will check us out, you can go to. Uh, CP, cpbassclassic.com. Yes, cpbassclassic.com on, on the internet or carlperkinscenter.org. Center.org. That's right. Either one of those websites will, will be able, you will be able to get to where you need to go and find out how you can get involved, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate you. I enjoy the show. Okay, Johnny, Johnny, how can we help you tonight? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Johnny. Oh, I missed you. I got on up. That's all right. This is John Henry. I used to fish bumper mill, you know. Yeah. Cat fisherman. Yes, sir. The and cat fisherman. I've been in a while. And uh, I, uh, that little man there, he's a bass fisherman like that. He got secrets like I do. <laughs> Don't yeah. buy you a secret, Bubba. <laughs> you got a secret. Don't tell him. I, catch him I thought I was going to put some vice grips on his fingernails and get him to talk or oh, something like that. Oh, that didn't happen. He won't give up. He won't give, up. <laughs> he won't give it up. <laughs> he won't give it up. But, but, uh, hey, I was up at Cedar Creek this last couple of weeks. Some time I've been in a while, and I caught some good white cat. And I had a, had a boat follow me, and I put my jugs up. And you know what, man, they didn't even know what jug fishing was. 
He was all out putting trot lines out. He'd get tangled up in his motor. <laughs> And what? we explained to him, and he finally went off, you know. <laughs> well, I tell you what, he doesn't know what he's missing, does he? He don't. No, he don't. Well, I and tell you what. Someday we're going to get Gary. Yes, sir. Now, and we'll get on that turtle hunt and come give him a winner again. I'm ready to go whenever you are. All righty, buddy. Now, you be careful, Johnny. See you later. Thank you, sir. Great, great man right there at Bumpus Mills. He is Mr. Catfish Cat King sounds like on, in Bumpus Mills. And I tell you what, he does a great, great job. If he tells you he's after the white cat, he's catching plenty of them, <laughs> buddy, I tell you. Great, great calls tonight. We appreciate those. I do want to stress to you that the websites are the CP Bass Classic, which stands for Carl Perkins Bass Classic. You can download one of the registration slips uh, that you need to fill out, or there will be plenty there that morning. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you this. If you go ahead and fill them out, along with your credit card or check, send it in, send in your, your monies, then you get drawn an earlier draw. Mm -hmm. And what I love about it, and, and it doesn't matter if you're the last one to go out, I promise you, it's a 50 boat flight and there's 15 minute intervals, uh, is what they've done in the past, and it's great. Um, there's no pressure, you know, to get in or, or, or to get out. Everybody does it in a very mannerly way, in a safe way. So uh, they run it, I'm telling you, top notch. So, but it does help if you want to uh, get your monies in, get your registration form. If you get your money in before October 1st, it's 160. That's after, right. After one, after October 1st, it's 185. Right, right. Now, one thing we're doing, uh, we've done in the past, and we're going to be able to do it again this year is each entry fee, if you got two for, per boat, you go in the drawing for the door prize, which is a uh, tracker, flat bottom boat with a 25 horsepower Mercury on it. Man. And that's just a door prize. We do it at a reverse draw, and that's sort of a crowd pleaser. Can we, will you tell them what a reverse draw well, is? Because that was kind of fun to watch. Well, everybody's name goes in. Right. That, that's entered in the bass tournament. All right. So you and Joy's name go, both oh, go yeah. in. And, yeah. and then we, we draw out each entry. What I love is you made everybody stand. You stand up first, and if we call your name out, you, you sit, sit down. down. And then it's basically the last man or last woman standing. Or last, last five. Or last, last five. Or last yeah. child. Last That's year, right. Uh, we had a child up there. Had up there. Sure did. And it's a you know it's a nice boat. It's not a it's not a you know. It's a freebie. Dollars. It's a freebie. <laughs> uh, and it's you know it's a nice crappie rig, bass uh, catfishing rig. Well, there's two kinds of boats out there, Rick. Yeah. There's there's a big. Fancy bass boat, and there's a free one. <laughs> you know. That's the two best boats. Well, we, just give the, we just give that thing away, and uh, it's our door prize. And Mercury Motors uh -huh. donates the motor, uh -huh. and uh, Bass Pro has been good to us about the tracker boat and trailer and you know that's that's their part of giving back all right and, uh, well i'll tell you what we're we're going to get more information you go to cpbassclassic.com or carl perkins center center dot org dot org right and, and all of this stuff will be there all right chandler pressure's on you brother i need a tip of the week for our viewers out here what does chandler have as a tip of the week well, I think a tip of the week would be, you know, if, if okay, uh, calm morning and you have a chair bait, I mean, like a buzz bait, mm -hmm. and, and you're not having any bites, if you if you drill some holes in it, it'll make it more, it'll give it more. Agitate the water a little yeah. bit more. So, th that's a good idea, right? I'm telling you, I, man, see, you live and learn, die and forget it all, I'm telling you, that kid's got it right there. I'm doing exactly what you said, second you place out of 150 bucks, come on guys. We gotta take a quick break, and when we come back, Joy's got another fantastic recipe for you, her and Tanner. We got Tanner Hale in the house, ladies and gentlemen. He's gonna be up here, he thinks he's gonna taste test everything, but he's not. We're gonna get him up there and make him cook, so hurry back to more, so the woods and water.